In this example, I'm going to show you two ways to model how to multiply a fraction by a whole number, and our example problem is 3 fifths times 3. In both example problems, the first thing that we're going to do is create a fraction model to represent the fraction that's being multiplied. Since our fraction is 3 fifths, we're going to create a rectangle with 5 columns to represent the fifths. Because our fraction is being multiplied by the whole number 3, we're going to create 3 models of fifths. In the first strategy, we're going to represent 3 fifths 3 times by shading in 3 fifths of the first model with one of the colors. And then you can either grab the same color or a different color and shade in 3 fifths of the second model, so now we have 3 fifths 2 times. And finally, shade in 3 fifths of the third model. Count up how many total fifths you have, which is 3, 6, 9 fifths. And then you're going to change that into a mixed number. So you have one whole and four fifths. In the second strategy, we're going to begin by filling in three fifths of the first model. To do this, you're going to drag one of the colored bars from the left side of the slide, and you can use any of the colors that you choose. Once you've shaded three fifths of the first model, grab another color and shade in the remaining fifths of that model. Because that's two fifths, we need to fill in one fifth of the second model. Now we have 3 fifths two times. Grab a third color and we're going to shade in the next 3 fifths of the second model. Now we've represented 3 fifths three different times, so we're going to look at our final product and you can see that there are 9 fifths shaded in total or you can see it as one whole model shaded in and 4 fifths of the second model. Of the two strategies that I just showed you, I prefer to use the second model. The reason for that is because at the end you can really see the product very clearly because it shows the whole model filled in and the fraction of the remaining model.